You know what? I'm not even going to be on this too long. But I have a sincere question I want to ask. What's up with the black men? What's up with all these black men putting on dress? These black preachers being caught with boys, being caught with men? I've always said that when you see preachers, politicians, regardless of who you are, and you're in favor of the LGBTQ community and you start promoting them, I don't care if you have a family member, a son, friend, whoever. I just think that men, heterosexual men, old school men, we just don't play that. You know, we can't tolerate that. You know, we can't be in the same company as that. And anytime you see, for example, T.D. Jakes and any other preacher that supports LGBTQ and they're talking about God loves them, they're human too, and, and they're supporting gay marriage. I've always felt and believed that people like that was on the DL. I strongly believe that dudes that's in support of that, I don't care if you have a son. I mean, even if you got a son, a real heterosexual man is going to say, okay, I love my son, but I will not tolerate him and his friend hugged up in my house. You won't allow that energy in your home. You just won't do it. Now, when you see situations like Tyrese and other hip hop artists and celebrities, and it, it always seemed to be black men that's buying into that, that's caping for the Rainbow Coalition. It's always black men. There was a time when black folk used to talk about the Catholic Church and all these preachers messing with the little boys. Now we're hearing situations like P. Diddy and T.D. Jakes and, and all these other black men, not just preachers, but black men. And it's hard to defend someone like T.D. Jakes because you have that dude that's in the church twerking and dancing in front of him with what looks like a cop uniform. Then he does a, a split and T.D. Jakes appeared to be enjoying that. And even when he stood up to make his speech, he seemed a bit uncomfortable. He seemed guilty to me. And I've always said that when T.D. Jakes decided to, to accept LGBTQ, right there told me that something was suspect about him. Anyone that you see, especially a man that says, you know, listen, I have no problem with that. They do what they want. That's them. I can't tell somebody, you know, I can't. It's not my business what somebody do in their bedroom. No, it's not your business. But at the same time, there's certain things you just won't tolerate. There's certain things a man will not tolerate at all. And. I really don't know what's going on with so-called black men, black American men, foundational black Americans. We can talk about Africans and other uh, black races of people, but when it comes to foundational black American men, something is terribly, that's horribly wrong. Something is not right. Right after this thing happened with T.D. Jakes, now Tyrese comes out with a dress and seemed to be quite comfortable wearing this. So what is going on with Black American men? 
putting on dresses and going after boys. Leaving the natural use of the woman. What is up with that? Now, T.D. Jakes, excuse me for one moment. T.D. Jakes, when he stood up to make his little appearance, one second. Got someone, family member texting me, asking me a question. All right. What T.D. Jake should have done was when he stood up there, instead of using that lame excuse that that's not what the pool pit is for, and then he started talking about terrorist threats and him having to protect the church. And instead of him doing that, if anything, he should have at least stood up there and said, listen, all of what you hear is not true. If he was at Diddy's party, say, yes, I was at his party. Um, I went there to support the man. We got a business deal going on, and I only went there to support it. I only, I only stayed there for 15, 20 minutes, and I left. That's not my scene, okay? And I'm going to tell you something. As a photographer, I recall this dude asked me to do his portfolio, right? It's a long time ago. He asked me to do his portfolio. And he wanted to do his portfolio with his shirt off. And, and I told him, nah, bro. I said, listen, I know a female photographer that can do your work. Why not? I said, because I really don't care to sit in front of a dude with his shirt off. You know, it just it's just not... That's just not my, that's not my style. Okay. I'm, I refuse. Well, you take photos of women. I said, those are women. Okay. I'm not going to be sitting there taking pictures of you flexing and, 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 and posing with no shirt on. I'm not going to do that. Okay. I know a female photographer. She can do it for you. Dude got offended. He was angry, upset with me. Right. Um, there was another time. I was invited to a party just recently. I was invited to a wine tasting thing by this white dude, you know, the white dude I used to work with. And um, he had a list of people that he wanted to come. And he said that he wanted to make sure that there was no, no problems, nobody's fighting or anything like that. But it was a wine tasting thing. And I said to him, I said, well, I don't drink, bro. I said, so no, I, no thing. He said, well, I don't drink either. He said, we well, could just come and, and drink so we're gonna have soda there we're gonna have juice in there i won't go because it's not becoming of the image and the lifestyle that i hold okay now some people may not find anything wrong with that i mean there's a couple of white dudes that invited me to a pig roast and they know i don't eat pork right and I'm like, nah. He said, oh, we're going to have other things. We're going to have hot dogs and hamburgers. And we're going to have this and just come out out. And, you know, you can bring somebody with you. I'll think about it. I didn't go because that's not my scene. That's not what I do. Every year when they have a pig roast, I don't go. Now, there's a scripture in the Bible that says to not let your good be evil spoken. Okay. So you may have good intentions and good motives, but there's a certain things and certain places, especially preachers should not go. OK, and there's nothing wrong with saying no, turning down invitations. Now, if it's a situation where um, T.D. Jakes had no idea what was going on. He could say, listen, bro, I'll stop by for like. 10, 15 minutes, but I can't stay because that's not my scene. That's not what I do. You know, I'll come by, um, I'll eat a couple of pieces of chicken and, you know, and, and I'll be on my way, right? If anything, 
But you never want to put yourself in a position where someone can always accuse you. Now, like I said, a lot of things that have come out regarding T.D. Jakes is quite suspect. But I want to wait until that USB drive, that phone, and those alleged videos come out. That's going to tell it all. And he may be innocent, but it does not look good at all. Now, he made that comment that he was 66 years old and but come on, man, you got, there's some old gay dudes, some old gay women. I know a couple of old gay women that's in the church, right? Lesbians, that's in the church that's older than me, right? And I'll be 63 day after tomorrow. So don't forget to hit that cash app, y'all. But I'll be 63 day, day after tomorrow. And I know some women older than me that's lesbians. That still got it going on. All right. So age is nothing but a number. My grandfather, before he passed, man, my grandfather was 80 some years old and he's got a child by a girl in her 20s, early 20s. That's my grandfather. But he's gone now, but he's got a child here. Right. So age ain't nothing but a number. So when, when T.D. Jake stood up there and talked about he's 66 years old, that don't mean nothing, man. That means nothing at all, especially if you have a taste for strange flesh. And the Bible talks about that strange flesh, right? So the way T.D. Jake's handled it, he seems a bit suspect, but my mind is just blown at the number of black men that are now converting to the rainbow coalition it's just mind blowing to me what is going on with black men what is going on with these young black boys and these young kids are growing up in the homes of women of black women that that lives that rainbow coalition lifestyle and so that child grows up and it appears to them as being normal i had to keep my little granddaughter away from this this little girl because this little girl now my granddaughter is like 10 years old but this this little girl her mom's a lesbian had my little granddaughter watching lesbian porn hub and my granddaughter came back and told me about it and i told her from that point on no you cannot be around that person you cannot be around that person All right so a lot of these kids are being exposed to that nonsense and the parents care nothing about that the parents don't care anything about their kids being exposed to this mess so for those of us that's 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 still in our right mind that still have our soul intact and have not sold our souls to the devil we have to we have to protect the children we have to continue to protect their innocence and keep them away from people that's like that because they're on, unconsciously, they're on an evangelistic ministry. I don't want to call it a ministry, but they have an agenda to convert others like themselves. Misery loves company, see? And you have to really be careful who your kids play with, right? Because a lot of times kids may look innocent, they may look harmless, but they're being influenced by things that's going on in their home, okay? And this little girl showed my little granddaughter that, and my little granddaughter was like, nah, I don't want to, I don't want, and she came home and told me about it. 
And from that point on, you can't have no dealings with that person. You can't go around that person, right? Stay away from that individual. That person's not good for you, all right? So we have to do what we can to protect the children because already it have infiltrated the black female and now the black male. And I don't see how any dude can feel comfortable wearing women garments. I have respect for Tyrese, but not no more. So what is up with all these black dudes? So feedback, tell me what you think until next time. I'm fearless.